Well, I was sitting in Sharpie Sheepton's Zydeco Blues Bar out near Lafayette. Had my new Kenworth truck outside. I just had a big brass bull of Minos poured, and I bolted it onto the front grill of my Kenworth. Man, that some bitch was a monster. And I was drinking tequila and rose petal brandy boilermakers with a couple of my best friends that night. One of them was Tony the Beatnik. He had a big flowing beard like Methuselah. Tony was just out of the VA hospital. They'd given him some pills, which had calmed him down quite a bit. And you remember Jimmy Joe the Hippie Billy Boy? Well, the third guy at our table was Jimmy's cousin Marnie. Well, that night, Sharpie himself had done a set with his shiny Cajun accordion. Man, he was hotter than George Bush trying to think. And we were dancing in our chairs. We were so excited. the break we were watching a bunch of constitution defacing television pundits on Fox News. They had a story about some FEMA trailers that were sitting unused in a lot by the Hope Arkansas Airport. The government had paid almost $35,000 each for these damn trailers and now 10,000 of them were just sitting there in Bill Clinton's hometown locked up behind a fence while thousands of people from New Orleans and the Gulf were just totally starved for a place to live. You'd think that Clinton himself would go up to Hope and make sure those trailers were shipped immediately to New Orleans, uh, but no such luck. the 4th of July and we, we'd we watched the VFW fireworks before we went over to Sharpie's. So we decided to do something totally patriotic right on the spot. That very night, Tony the Beatnik, Marnie Swearingen, and I, Jonathan, Abner, Tobias, piss off. Cut out of Sharpie Sheepton's Zydeco Blues Bar and headed toward Hope, Arkansas. I was hauling a big load of persimmons up to a New Age winery in Pennsylvania. Sharpie said I could park my trailer out back for a couple days, so I unhooked the cab and we headed out of there about 3 a.m. Well, we were singing a bunch of Beatles songs and I hung my Endymion necklace from Mardi Gras 05 around my neck. I invoked Marie Laveau. She's one of my favorite people as we drove up Route 49 toward Arkansas in my Kenworth truck with a bull of minus on the grill. Well, I decided to take along my Uzi just in case. Perhaps I was waving it a bit too freely, which was making Tony and Marnie a bit boisterous. So they prevailed on my mind to hide it in a cypress swamp where I used to stash my grass deliveries outside of Lafayette. And we cut on to I-30 at Shreveport and arrived at Hope, Arkansas about 8 a.m. You know, we lurked outside the FEMA lot at the airport, but there was almost no security, so we used a bolt cutter to chop open the gate. And then we backed up to a trailer that was still resting atop its wheeled carrier, <laughs> which we hooked up to my Kenworth and then got the hell out of there. <laughs> could have put our little caper in one of his books. As I said, we were feeling super patriotic. 
but we're also suspicious enough to believe that FEMA might actually be storing these trailers for use in those portable concentration camps that Halliburton was building for Homeland Security. Bush and his sleazy sons of bitches can go eat a mountain of little green putty balls. You can tell them that that's a direct message from Johnny Piss Off. Meanwhile, we were hooking up the trailer to my truck and I opened the doors to some of these trailers and I saw that all of them had new couches, kitchen tables, dressers, mattresses, bed frames, microwaves, the whole works already in place. Well, we got back to New Orleans in the early evening and found somebody to take the trailer. Oh, it gave us such a thrill to provide a temporary home that we decided to go back to Hope and get some more. <laughs> We did about six runs, gave these suckers out to a bunch of families on devastated streets. Finally, the Arkansas State Police and some guys from the FBI had us staked out. <laughs> we barely got out of there with one last trailer we hauled to New Orleans, and then we had a good idea on where to put it. We decided to try to slide it down the path and leave it by Marie Laveau's crypt in St. Louis Cemetery. Well, it wasn't easy with all the flood damage, but we managed to get it to the right street. But the dang front gate with that metal cross above it, it was way too narrow. So we came up with a plan. I had a can of red touch-up paint for my Kenworth, and we painted an invocation to Madame Laveau on the side of the FEMA trailer before we chained it to the cemetery gate. <laughs> and here it is. Put the red hand on these cheating assholes that laugh at human suffering and scheme to kill a great American city. <laughs> 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 